Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I am super excited because I can finally say I've discovered a water-resistant sunscreen that's genuinely lightweight and truly invisible on the skin. Now, I know for a lot of people out there, that sentence won't mean a whole lot, but for us hardcore sunscreen nerds, honestly, that is like finding your holy grail. For years and years and years, we've seen improvements in, you know, the performance of sunscreens and how they appear on the skin. But most of the super lightweight and elegant sunscreens out there aren't water resistant. So for those of us that want to go for a sweaty jog or want to be in and out of the pool on holiday, we've had to suffer with the heavy, the thick and the gloopy sunscreens. Well, no more. I've got a new discovery that I'm super excited to share. So sit back, relax, let's talk the best water resistant sunscreen. Now, before we get into this video, I would of course love to know your thoughts, feelings and opinions when it comes to this product, so sound off in the comments section below. Do you have another water resistant SPF favourite that you want to share with the world? I am always open to hearing your recommendations and suggestions, so again, drop them in the comments section. Whatever your thoughts on the products that we're talking about today, if you enjoy this style of content where we really do like lift the bonnet of sunscreens, go underneath the hood and work out which are going to be the best performers when it comes to our individual skin's needs, let me know by leaving this video a big thumbs up and a like. It supports me as a content creator so, so much, so from the bottom of my heart, love to each and every one of you. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So you guys know we don't do gatekeeping here on the channel. So straight off the bat, this is the product we're talking about. This is the Allies of Skin, the one invisible sunscreen gel. So this product only recently launched, but it's getting a lot of hype online. And I think for very good reason. So you guys know the drill by now. I don't do sponsor content here on the channel because I think by turning down the coin, it helps me to retain my independence. However, Allies of Skin did very kindly offer me the opportunity to try this out before the launch. I'm I'm always eternally grateful for brands such as Allies of Skin, The Ordinary, Skin 1004, that give me the opportunity to try their products before they launch so I can share with you my honest thoughts, feelings and opinions. But I always like to make it clear straight off the bat exactly where we stand. Like I said, this video isn't sponsored. Um, I've been using this for the past month and genuinely really, really impressed. However, you guys know when it comes to sunscreens, I always like to mix and match here. I've got like a hardcore group of my favourites. And so in this video, I want to share with you where this slots into that, who I think it's most applicable for, and of course my own experiences. And I've left some timestamps in the description box below if you want to jump to one section of the video over another. So let's start with what the brand actually claim. Well, they say in this product, you're actually getting four products in one. You're getting your sun protection, you're getting a makeup primer, you're getting a niacinamide serum, and you're getting an antioxidant serum, all condensed down into one product. That for me was music to my ears because I'm all about streamlining and minimizing the total number of steps in a routine. They say that they tested this and it's water resistant for 80 minutes, which is great to see. And you're getting an SPF of 50 and a high level of UVA coverage too, rating PA four pluses, which is the highest rating you can get in terms of UVA coverage. All that, like I say, music to my ears. But it's really the ingredients in here that I think stood out for me. So alongside you've got that sun protection, you've also got five antioxidants and some of my favourite antioxidants too. You've also got some skin conditioners such as vitamin E, which is going to help lock in all of that hydration. And you've got vitamin C and niacinamide. So this really is almost like a sunscreen and a skincare routine all in one style product. So for those of us in a rush on a morning, it's this sort of product that I think could make it a lot, lot easier for us. I've been using it for the past month. Let me tell you, I have been so, so impressed. So I'm wearing it today. What I wanted to do is do a swatch on my hand for you guys, but also show it in action under some makeup. So I've got a little bit of concealer where I've had a few breakouts and this applies beautifully under your concealer to just help it grip on all day. Definitely gives a good level of primer action and hopefully you can see it genuinely is invisible on the skin. There's no dewiness, but it's also not deadpan matte. It's just that perfect balance of like, your good skin day kind of look. And I wanted to show it in action so you could see how it presents. I'm gonna do a quick swatch on my hand though. So if you can see, yes, yes, you do see that. It is completely invisible, look at that. That just, just uh, let me just work this in and you will see it just disappears into nothing. This has such a gorgeous, gorgeous finish on the day. It's like velvet. You touch your skin. If anything, you find yourself touching your face an awful lot with this because you can't believe how smooth it is. And 
look at that. Gone. Like, literally gone. That was, that was 10 seconds of working in, and you can't even see it. It just, yeah. Absolutely. When I first tried this, I was genuinely speechless. There is zero scent to it, which I love, because whilst a lot of people try to avoid artificial fragrance, if you don't use artificial fragrance in sunscreens, they can smell really chemically. This doesn't. There's no artificial fragrance, but there's also no off-putting chemically smell either, which I love. Very neutral in terms of its scent, which is great. But I, just look at that finish. Like, you can't tell me that isn't like the most impossibly invisible finish you've ever seen on a sunscreen. So for me, that blend of like multi-actives, the antioxidants, helping you to streamline is what sold it for me. But then I applied it and the finish like sealed the deal. And when it comes to sunscreens, I, you guys know that I've watched the channel sometimes, I, I have my favourites. I usually have about four or five sunscreens on the go at once, and I generally mix and match depending on what my skin needs on the day. I would encourage everyone to do that if your budget will stretch to it. You know, you might just have that one that works for you day in, day out, in which case cling on to it, but I think different situations might need slightly different sunscreens, and that's what I mean when I say I'm a sunscreen nerd, I like to mix and match. So when did I actually use this? Well, for me, I used it before I went out on a jog because water-resistant sunscreens are amazing if you're going to be doing a lot of sweating. <laughs> you know, you, you want this to adhere to the skin to keep you secure while you're going on your 30, 40, 50-minute jog. So before I went out to exercise, I used this. Let me tell you, still in place when I came back and I had to shower it off. So definitely, definitely resistant when it comes to exercise. Also, in and out of the pool, you know, if you're on holiday or maybe you're just going swimming, I'm, I'm really lucky that my gym has an outdoor pool that I always love to use when it's sunny and warm enough to do so. And again, this is a great sunscreen to just put on so you can then swim and know that you're not going to actually be aging the skin whilst you're exercising. These are the situations where I would use this. Now, of course, you could use it all day long. It works great as a primer. You can put you know, makeup on top of it, as you can see, and it works really, really well. So it's up to you how you use it. But I think for me, where this really comes into its own is with that water resistance. So I keep this for when I know I'm going to be exercising in the pool. I'll be using it when I go on holiday. And when I'm going for a jog, this just makes sure that my skin is protected. And I can tell you, I am so unbelievably happy to say that I finally found a water resistant sunscreen that is truly invisible. It doesn't like melt on the skin so you end up with that pools of that like white cast and looking dreadful. I already look a mess when I'm jogging as is. I don't need my sunscreen to kind of add to that. This remained truly invisible throughout and just has the nicest finish. I can't keep stop showing you this. Look, look yes. Um, so for me, when it comes to the price point, this isn't the cheapest sunscreen out there. And I always like to put that out there. We talk about it. You guys know I'm drugstore to my core and I'm pretty cheap if I'm totally honest. And so for me, a sunscreen that has a slightly higher price point like this, I reserve for those times where I think it's going to be adding me additional benefit, which like I said, is when I'm exercising, when I'm in and out of the pool on my holidays, this will be my summer go-to for those situations. Others where I don't need that water resistance, I'll probably use one of my other favourite sunscreens that I have in my collection. That's how I personally like to mix and match. However, I do have a discount code for Allies of Skin that I would say 20% off. So make sure if you are tempted to buy this, and I've linked it in the description box below, you use that discount code because it's all about saving some of our hard-earned coin. And like I say, whether you choose to use this as your day-in, day-out go-to sunscreen, or you choose to use it like I do as, you know, when the situation requires it and you want that water resistance, it's really up to you. But when you think of it as a primer, a sunscreen, an antioxidant serum and a niacinamide all in one, I think it starts to look a lot more cost effective. And like I say, 2024 is the year where I'm trying to streamline. Am I successful in doing that? The jury's out, but I'm making the effort. And products like this make it an awful lot easier. I would love to know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions. Let me know as well. Do you want a full video looking at water-resistant sunscreens? I'm happy to do that if you think it'd be useful for you. Let me know in the comments section below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.